guys, my name is Razel and welcome to today's video. I hope you're doing great. So today, I want to talk about why being cheap can end up costing you more. Don't get me wrong, I'm all for investing in yourself. But I also realize that I need to be frugal and save for my future without being necessarily cheap. Because being cheap can end up being costly. I also understand that sometimes being cheap makes sense because circumstances necessary that you be cheap. But, and this is a big but, there are times being cheap and cutting corners here and there is really not worth the effort. Like for example, when being cheap turns into a mindset. Mm -mm. When this happens, oh boy, you know you're in trouble because it will end up costing you more. You should avoid it. I know when you're on a financial journey or on a saving journey, this may seem like contradictory advice because obviously you want to save. You want to achieve your goals and are thinking that buying on the cheap can get you there a little quicker. But I'm here to say that it's not always the case. So in this video, I'm going to explore with you why being cheap could actually cost you more. Like John Ruskin said, if you buy cheap, you're risking buying twice. Meaning that if you buy something cheap, it's likely to be of poor quality. It will break, it will wear out, and it will not be fit for purpose. As a result, you're going to need a replacement, which is going to cost you money in the long run. I have often gone on the cheap myself, skimping on car maintenance, but in the long term, I was faced with an expensive repair bill. Then I quickly realized that if you want quality, you should expect to pay for it. You see, I had to move on from the buy cheap, pay cheap mentality. So how do you move on from that mentality? This is how. By the way, if you haven't subscribed already, I'll really appreciate it if you go ahead and subscribe to this channel. The subscribe button is right down below. Okay, let's go ahead. The number one way being cheap is costing you more is buying on sale, falling in a sales trap. I hate to be a Debbie Downer, but this is true. Let me explain this. Don't get me wrong, I love a good bargain and I'm all about not wasting money. However, I think that going crazy during a sale sometimes is not the smartest way to shop. There are two reasons for this. First of all, you often spend more money than you intended to in the beginning. That is if you had a limit. And then number two, you tend to buy too many cheap things you don't need just for the sake of it. I often do this. I want that blouse. I want that top. I want that necklace. I want this. I want that. And then I keep on holding loads of things, carrying bags, buying things I don't need it simply because I can't. <laughs> if you're like me and you want to avoid this, one way to go around it is to think before buying. Basically, not to buy on the impulse. If you see something you think you might want to buy, wait it out. Wait a few days and if you're still thinking about the item after that time and you still want to have it, then go ahead and buy it. This is a great indicator to find out if an item actually sparks joy for you. If not, you know it would have been an impulse buy you might have regretted after a while. Another thing you can do is to consider buying something at the time you want to have it. My point here is not to wait for a sale. If you really truly love something, don't wait until the sale to buy it. Just buy it there and then. Buying things on sale actually tricks you into buying things that you don't need. You end up buying multiple items which are third choice because you want to make up for the item you actually wanted. Also avoid sale browsing. I've actually stopped this. I never go near the shops during sale times. Of course, it's quite tempting to look through all the lower prices in my favorite shops, especially after Christmas or Thanksgiving. It's hard when nearly every store has deals to offer. However, I have figured that if I do that, I'll almost certainly fall into the sell trap and spend money on too many things that I don't even need. Instead, if I want to participate in a sale, I think ahead and only look up the items that I'm planning to buy anyway. The second reason why being cheap is costing you more is because they're cheap. Cheap is cheap for a reason. Simples. Maybe not all the time, but cheap things are cheap for a reason and quality items are pricey for a reason. Most quality items, not all, are priced higher because increased quality requires a greater attention to detail. Which of course requires more time, costing more money because they are well made to last. You pay for what you get out. But I also understand that cheap more often does not mean low quality. There are certain things about cheap and they've ended up being of really high quality. But I'm talking about cheap things that don't work properly and they end up breaking really fast. Then you have to buy a replacement. In the long run, you end up paying for more. Then you think, I should, have bought, I should have added more money and bought something of good quality with a better performance. The difference is usually reflected in the price. 
If the more expensive version is twice the price, it will probably last four or five times more. So in the long run, you save money by buying the more expensive version. There are exceptions, of course, but in general, the rule holds true. I'll give you an example of what I mean. When I started as a content creator, I needed loads of gear. Among the things that I needed, I needed a good camera to use every day. The camera I wanted, a new one was quite expensive, so I went for a cheaper version, which works all right. Now, four months down the road, I'm finding it hard to use this camera. Sometimes it dies on me mid-filming and I get really frustrated and I'm like, fucking hell! Then I have to film twice. So now I'm figuring that I need to invest in a better camera after all. Sometimes this applies to holidays and you book a cheap hotel and once you get there, you realize that the service is not quite at par and you're basically left with a bad experience. I've had this experience with other stuff too, clothing, gardening tools, bicycles, and anything in between. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that cheap is cheap for a reason and in the end, it will cost you more. You will have to replace the item if it's worn out, if it breaks, or it's not fit for purpose. If your pocket allows it, consider investing in a little more and get better quality. Number three, there is an extra boost when you go up in the quality of things you get or the experiences that you have. Why? Because you consider them more pleasurable than other options. The feeling of happiness that you get when you buy something expensive and quality is quite fleeting. It gives you a sense of accomplishment and progress and it enhances your self-worth. It makes you feel like you've arrived. Not that you need to impress anyone, but it feels good. Yes. <laughs> it's a big deal, especially if you don't come from money. And also, when we pay a lot for something nice, we appreciate it more. I, for one, I do. Because I think the higher the price, the better things tend to be. There is simply no way both for prices to be low and quality to be high. When you spend on something, you care for it more because you bought it from pain and sweat. But then again, before you go ahead and splash on that item or service, it may be a good idea to understand the value it brings to you. Does it make you look good? Does it help you save time or help you avoid doing something that you don't enjoy? Does it make you feel more confident or will the experience be something that you remember for a long time? To make a choice, you need to go along those lines. Things like good education, traveling, a good mattress and clothes that fit well. Don't go cheap on those. Slash out more, you'll reap the benefits. Another way being cheap is costing you more is in terms of time. Being cheap costs you time. Time is the most valuable of resources, but we tend to waste it. For example, we are all guilty of driving out of our way to get petrol price at 2p cheaper. <laughs> yes, we drive 10 miles looking for a petrol station selling petrol at 2p cheaper than the petrol station near home. We also tend to take on a home improvement project ourselves, which ends up doubling the time commitment. Some people hop store to store, Audi, Lido, Tesco, Sainsbury's looking for a bargain just to snag up a few sell items. In this, they fail to realize that the time they're spending adds up. Spending extra time looking for a better price when shopping around sometimes is unnecessary. It's because you're wasting time trying to save money. The fact is, no matter how much money you have, time is the only thing in life you cannot get back once it's spent. Maybe it's time to start looking at how you spend yours. Because once you spend it, you can't get it back. You might want to be cheap by mastering a new skill like fixing computers, but the time you spend learning how to fix it, is it worth it? It's better to hire a professional and this way you can spend your time doing something that you love. Of course, everyone's situation is different. If you're unemployed or tight on cash, then your number one goal should be to save money. Whatever your lifestyle may be, just make sure you value your time as a precious commodity and spend it wisely. The fifth way being cheap costs you more is in the way it makes you feel. A cheap mindset will impact you. One of my favorite quotes is that the mind is everything and what you think you become. And this is so true. Mindset is a critical thing if you want to be successful in life in general. Avoid the cheap mentality, the scarcity mentality. Don't see life as a finite pie so that if one takes a big piece, that leaves less for everybody else. There is enough for everyone. We have been conditioned to have a scarcity mentality. This is what keeps many of us from achieving our goals because you only see limitations. Instead of a scarcity mindset, have an abundance mindset which focuses on opportunities. Realize that there is plenty out there for everybody. An abundance mindset allows you to see more in your life, more options, more choices, and more resources. Being cheap pushes you towards a scarcity mentality where you're always saying, I can't afford this, this is too expensive. And ultimately, you will end up not having because that's how you see yourself. What you believe is what you receive. We all like to be, or at the very least, try to be smart with our money. But that doesn't always mean choosing the cheapest option. 
in fact sometimes the price your item or experience can be the one that is most worth your hard earned cash while the cheapest can be the biggest waste while saving money and spending less than you earn or worthy goals being too cheap can wind up costing you more money in the long run and it can lead to discomfort and aggravation along the way being cheap may have its time and place though for example if you're trying out a new hobby it could make sense to buy cheap equipment or supplies until you're sure it's something that you want to pursue and invest in however in general getting the best quality goods and services while staying in your budget is the way to go if you have watched to this point i really appreciate you and thank you very much and if you haven't done so already please subscribe for more videos like this which are aimed at elevating you to the next level thanks for watching and i shall see you in the next video